welcome to Liz at Home. Today is my what I coloured in May and June of 2023 and I'm going to, I've put the two months together because I've not been colouring as much as maybe I should have but I decided to join the two together and get going with that. So I'm starting with the colour by number books this first one is from Stained Glass Tiffany Windows by Such and Such Diva. It's a really nice book. And in this, I colored just this one image and really enjoyed it. I really love my color by number books. I tend to use them a lot when I'm just wanting to do something that is without stress and just with enjoyment. I can't quite remember what I used here, but I think it was touch markers because it's an alcohol marker. It's gone through, so it looks sort of a little bit not as smooth as some of the others. So it was probably touch markers. I didn't make a note of it. So that's that one. Then next in this book... Colour by Colours, Country Life. I think this is also by Such and Such Diva. By Kira Shirshneva, sorry. <laughs> I really love this book and I'm actually nearly finished it. I think I might finish it next month. I did two in this book. So the first one was this one, which I think was really cute. I used alcohol markers and then I used some glitter gel pens as well. So you can sort of see a bit of the shine with the glitter gel pens. And I really enjoyed colouring this one. I love how these images come out. I think they're so bright and cheerful. And then I did this one just with alcohol markers. And I think it turned out really cute. I really love it. I'm afraid I kind of have fallen a bit by the wayside with hashtags and things. I have a feeling this could have fitted into a vegetable hashtag, but I can't quite remember. And so I didn't write it down. People like dear Megan and Jamie that do their planning so well, and Amanda, I really need to get to that. It's not part of who I am. I find it really hard to plan. Let me know if you enjoy doing planning. Let me know in the comments. So then still more colour by numbers. They've got in a bit of a muddle here now, because this is the second take of this video. Then the next colour by number in this all time hits 100 Colour by Number by Such and Such Diva, which I really like because it's got so many different styles. I did this one. And this one, I think I actually did it to fit in with a something to do with Egypt hashtag. And then I didn't write it down. I didn't take a photo and I didn't post it on Instagram. So that just happened that was part of my life but i colored it with sharpies and with graph graphite and one comic ah let me try that again i colored it with sharpies graphite and one copic alcohol markers and then i used a uniball signo white around the edges there i really like how that turned out I tried to do some shading just with the alcohol markers. So that's that one. I like the matte feeling of these covers. Then this was one of my newer books that I showed in my last haul. Large Print Peaceful Colour by Number by David Woodruff. And I did this one and I used my Artex and some used Artex acrylic markers and a different acrylic. The, this is Artex acrylic marker and you can see that you can see the numbers through them. And then I used 
different acrylic markers, which were a, a Korean or Chinese brand, I'm not sure, that I bought through Shane, and some Posca. Oh, I think I actually used acrylic paint at the outside. So I was sorry that the Artex acrylic markers, which are fabulous to use, they're so easy and I love their brush nib, but I was really sorry that the numbers still showed through. Um, if you use the Arteza or a different acrylic marker and you use them for the color by numbers, please let me know in the comments if the numbers of the pale colors, if you use a pale color, if the number still shows through. I'd like to find an acrylic marker where it covers up the number. So that's that one. These are kind of semi-mystery color by numbers. And I enjoyed doing that. The numbers are not so very small in this one. It says large print and I like that because I sometimes struggle to see. And then in this Mystery Colors magazine, which is, this is the only one I own by Joe Bartos. Um, this is the second, I'm coloring this from the back forward. I colored this also with the Artex and the other acrylic color by number. And I didn't have all exactly like that number six. I didn't have the right color and I used this and it doesn't really look right. So I'm not very thrilled with how that turned out. I did this one in a previous month just with alcohol markers. Even though you can see the numbers, I prefer how it turned out. So let me know what your favorite acrylic marker is for either these or the Disney books. Maybe if I ever come into funds again one day, I might try and treat myself. And that's all the color by numbers. Now we're going to go onto the PDFs. This is from the Marlon Turnison book. And I did this one as a body color with Amanda colors. And I will put her finished image over here for you to see. Thank you so much, Amanda, for doing a body color with me. I really enjoyed it and I love how yours turned out. And this is from Dreamy Chibis by Marlon Turnison. I bought the PDF book on his website. Uh, it's not an Etsy shop. So if you're interested in that, if you also like PDF books, let me know and I will put a link to it for you. I'm not going to just link it because maybe nobody's interested. Then I did this one from a, a PDF as well from Mariola Budek, also a body color with Amanda Colors. These were both for Mermaid. And I used some alcohol markers in the hair and the skin. And then I used some Wink of Stella over the, the shiny bits over the tail, mermaid's tail and the fish. And then a glitter gel pen on her earring. And I used some glaze pen for her pearls. So I had a lot of fun coloring this image. I thought it was a real fun one to color. And it was done quite easily. Here's Amanda's beautiful image. And thank you so much, Amanda, for the lovely body colors that you did with me. And then this is also on the non-coated cardstock from Hannah Lynn's Maui Mermaids. And this was a body color with Megan from Disney Meg's coloring. And I loved coloring this. I thought it was fun to color. I tried to go over the black with a white gel pen. I used some of my new stickles on the sun. Hope you can see the shine. I used some Wink of Stella on the tail and I used some glitter gel pens on her jewelry and some metallic gel pens. And I used some glossy accents on her eyes and I used um, alcohol markers on the rest. So I really loved doing that and I'm going to put Disney, I'm going to put Disney Megs, I'm going to put Megan's picture here 
And thank you so much, Megan, for doing the body colour with me. I really enjoyed doing it. We've got another body colour going on and she's very kindly waiting for me because I've just not been able to do things. And that was more from an emotional standpoint than any other. This next one is from the Angela Gonzalez Fairies book. And I did this with a body colour with Be Cozy. And when I did this, you could buy Angela Gonzalez books on Etsy. So I was thrilled and I bought that. But she's taken them off Etsy now. So I don't know if she also just found the Etsy fees too much. A lot of people, I myself had an Etsy shop that I've closed because the fees you end up, people buy things from you and you end up paying Etsy and getting nothing. So it could be why maybe she'll start selling through Gumroad or something. I'm not sure. But I used some metallic gel pens around the edges and some metallic watercolor paint over here and metallic watercolor paint on the wings of the fairy and metallic watercolour paint on the eyes. I hope you can see a bit of the shine. So I'll put B's beautiful finished image. This was done in May, I think. And thank you, B, for doing the body colour with me. I put the border on myself because I like to have a border to colour inside. I can't remember what I did the background with, and I didn't write it down. It feels like I probably used some oil pastels, but I don't like how the background turned out. So it was a lot of fun to color. I don't actually like how mine turned out. But thank you, B, and here is hers on the side. Then next, by Aesthetica by Carla Magana from Aesthetica Synthetica. This I did for a hashtag of black lips yellow hair, which I never posted, or maybe I did. I did post this one on Instagram, believe it or not. I actually got around to it. And I used alcohol markers and then a little bit of detailing with gel pens, um, metallic gel pens in this case. And I went over some of the little black lines there also, just with some silver metallic gel pen. And it was a lot of fun to colour. I bought this book on Etsy. So that's the end of my PDFs. And now the books. I did this, I think, as a body colour with somebody as well. I hope I wrote it down. Yes. <laughs> Thank goodness. I did this as a body colour with Pixie, also in May. And it's the first one I've done in this book. I've had this book forever. No, it's not the first one. I cut it one other picture. It is the first one I've done in this book. <laughs> um, I'm going to put Pixie's image for you over here. Thank you so much, Pixie. Yours turned out beautifully. And I had a lot of fun coloring this. I just colored it with pencils and then I used some metallic gel pen on the pattern. Don't know if you can see that. It's quite a dull metallic one and some glitter gel pen for the cord, but nothing went through. So that was a lot of fun to color. This Books, images, I love the images, but I'm not great with these kind of wallpapery backgrounds. Like I would like a plain background with the lemons and just to do my own thing. Um, and I don't mind that. That's obviously like that image that's taken out over here. But I don't like these doing these things. Do you guys enjoy these sort of things? That sort of puts me off an image. These would be quite nice to colour. 
But so that's that one. So I was pleased with this book when I got it, but it's got a lot of these like fine details that put me off coloring this. How would you tackle that? Let me know in the comments. I often, this kind of picture, I quite like. It's kind of country style. So that's that from Belle Jardin by Peggy Jo Ackley. Then my first book, my first picture from, oh, I can never remember who the artist is. Louisa May. My first book in this Curvy Chubby Girls. I think I got this in December. I'm just going to have a sip of tea. Excuse me. I did this image. And I coloured her using mostly alcohol markers and then I did a bit of shading with pencil. And I really enjoyed colouring her. I thought that was fun. Did a little bit of shiny gel pen on the roses and on the door frames and on her belt. So that was that. Then I did a mandala, which I did as a body color with an Instagram friend, Valerie B. And we had fun coloring this. She, this is a book printed in South Africa and it's no longer available. Mandala Mojo by Sam Dala. They're nice hand-drawn mandalas. She used to have a shop called Colouring HQ. It's closed. Um, so we chose a colour palette and we each chose our own mandala. She did her own one. I will put her image next to this over here so that you can see it. And um, Valerie B and I really enjoyed doing it like this. And I hope that maybe we'll do another one soon thank you so much Valerie. i used sharpies and a little bit of hint of stella just here and there to add some interest i do like my glitter and shine <laughs> i love these kind of pink colors i'm kind of quite happy how this turned out and i so enjoyed using sharpies again did a little bit of pointillism shading was fun and I did the shading there with the sharpies using where you kiss two sharpies together. Do any of you ever do that? Do you know what I mean? If you don't and you'd like me to show you, I'll happily do so. Let me know in the comments. So that's that one from this book. I like this book. It's printed on nice paper, colored a few things in it. Then from A Million Magical Creatures, by Lulu Mayo. Where is the picture? I did this way back in May as a body color with Jamie from Jamie's Coloring Love. And this was for her hashtag, and I can't remember. No, this wasn't for her hashtag. This was for my hashtag, Pretty, pa Pretty in Pastel. And I used pencils and I used soft pastels for the background and I used some glitter on the stars. So I was quite happy with how that turned out. It was quite sweet. Thank you so much, Jamie. Then for a find and color with, um, Le, not Lavella, um, Olga Rani. She, one of her week's find and color was a snowman. I did this image from this cute book, A Whimsical Christmas by Prettily Printed ZA. And I, I enjoyed coloring this. I used 
Giotto water-based markers, Big Kids wax crayons to do some shading, and glitter and metallic gel pens and a white Posca. So you can see uh, this is an Amazon printed picture. Some shine I used. Um, just some cute little star glitter shine. I think that was Stickles gel or something there. I know you don't get stars on the sea, but I felt like using it. And that's how that turned out. Then I did this way back in Easter and I was just worried that this was going to bleed onto the other side. I don't think, I didn't do it for Easter. It was supposed to be for Easter, but I did it in May. And I actually didn't write down what I used and I can't remember. There's a little bit of shine here and there. And I know I used pan pastels for the background. I did um, spray it with a fixative but I wanted a little pink bunny and it's okay, I'm not thrilled with it. Then still in May, but on my holiday now, I coloured first picture from this book by Marty Noble, Winter Scenes Colouring Book, which I've had for ages. I coloured this and I really had so much fun colouring it. I know it's got a bit of a Christmassy look to it. I've got no shine on it, believe it or not. I used Posca and white gel pen to sort of give the snow look and I used Colleen pencils so there's no bleed through and I did this on holiday and just had a lot of fun. So I quite like how that turned out and I hope you like it. And then also on holiday, also the first one in this book by 50 Winter Miniatures by Camellia Angelkova. You will have realised that we're in winter here now and it's been really cold. So I've been doing a lot of winter pictures. I did this image. Oh my goodness, one of my glitter things has gone over there. And I'm quite pleased with how this turned out. I used very inexpensive Mayped colour pencils. Then I used um, one of the solvents to sort of blend them together. And then I used a silver gel pen around the clouds and white glitter white um, Signo to do some snow and um, then I used an acrylic paint to do the shine and then I wanted a bit of a blue look to it so I used on top of the dried ac acrylic shiny paint I used a white watercolour <laughs> um, shiny paint and I quite like how this turned out. It's kind of given a cold snowy look and then I used white watercolour paint on the metallic candle holder and I used some stickles on the light of the candle. So I quite like how this one turned out. I hope you can see some of the shine. I never know if it's going to show or not. But so I'm pleased that I've broken into this book. And then this is a book that I bought a couple of years ago, printed by Bliss. Um, I don't know if you know the Colouring Bliss website. I think most people know them. Jennifer Stay. This is volume three, Mandala Bliss. And I got it printed by, by them on their watercolour paper. So I really enjoyed doing this. And I used Koi Rail brush pens. And then I... 
these are these are the same colors but with these i put them on a palette and diluted them with water so we got a pastel version and i used quite a lot of water with the shading and i really enjoyed coloring that and i'm thrilled with how it turned out so i hope you like that and now that brings me to the end of my coloring pages so if you're not interested in the watercolor then thank you for watching if you are i'm going to be showing you what i've been doing with my watercolor up to now so with the watercoloring we'll start with the sketchbooks i think um I haven't dated everything. Yeah, that was... I think I've shown you those. I was trying to do roses. I'm always trying to do roses. I've still yet to get them how I want them, but I feel like they are improving a little bit. This is my little Arteza sketchbook. Then I was playing with leaves and I feel like blotting that out and This picture also, I know I showed you how I did it, but I feel like blotting it out because they're really not good. Then I started playing more with leaves and I love how this turned out. I just did leaves and this time I actually drew them and painted them like you're coloring in. So I didn't do the loose version. I'm trying to learn to paint loosely. And I'm really, really struggling with it. I watch Emma Lefebvre and I watch Jenna Rainey and I do classes on Skillshare. I mean, I follow classes on Skillshare, but my results are not quite what I would wish for. <laughs> but this one I liked and that was that in this book. And then some more of the Quest of the Flowers in this little book. And those were in May, that was April. So I did some, that was April. So I did some loose little echinacea type flowers and those I quite like how that turned out. This is really not a great sketchbook for watercolor. It's a Cardi book, Cardi papers. And I feel like the sizing has expired in places because it goes all sort of almost like waterproof everything beads up on it but I bought it I paid money for it and I will use it <laughs> so that's that one like how that turned out then I was trying delphiniums and I feel like they turned out okay then I love how this one turned out and I used some stickles in the middle that was um, I did a how-to on how to do that one and I did a similar one trying to figure it out. So I really enjoyed doing those. Then again with the roses. <laughs> Here we go. The onward and upward hopefully quest for doing roses. These kind of look nice and misty and romantic. These look awkward. So that's that. Then I did my loose um, abstract painting and I used some metallic watercolor paint there and I used various things to make textures in the paint. I think I needed more white space in this. I'm, I will do more abstracts. I enjoy doing abstracts. And then from my Emma Lefebvre watercolor box, I follow her classes and I did this and I love how these turned out. This was the May one. Well, I did it in May. I think this was the April box. And I feel like these tulips are better than my normal effort. And then I did this, which I'm actually thrilled with. I did this in June, but it was, I think, from her May box. These are 
to date, my best tulips yet. Again, they're not painted in the loose style, though. They're painted in where you draw the image, excuse me, you draw the image and then you colour it in with watercolour paint. So I feel like that style of my watercolour painting is definitely improving. I don't feel as if my loose watercolour painting is improving as yet. But so that brings me to the end of everything I've coloured and painted in April and no, in May and June of 2023. And if you've stayed with me until the end, give me a secret word of tulips and let me know that. And thank you so much for watching. I really want to thank everybody for your support and apologizing for apologize for being absent for last week and I will make a video soon and just have a little chat as to where I'm going with the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a colorful, artistic, creative, happy, relaxed and mindful week. Bye bye now.